everybody, Diane Bolin here. I have for you today another viewer request. Actually, several viewers have requested this same body part target, and that is our tricep, or sometimes lovingly called bat wings. The kind of things that we look for getting toned and tightened so that we look better in sleeveless and short sleeve tops. But it's also important to tighten up and strengthen the triceps because that is the opposing muscle to your bicep. So for proper arm function, they both need to be good and strong. For this video, I recommend a set of dumbbells or hand weights. If you don't have those, you can grab a couple of cans out of the kitchen cupboard. That works just fine as well. We want to put a little resistance on these movements to help tone and strengthen our triceps and the rest of our arms. A sturdy chair or a stool, not one on wheels or swivelly. We're going to do some seated. And if you prefer a mat for the floor, we are going to be doing some floor work. So there'll be three parts to this. So gather up those things and meet me back here. Let's get going with today's workout. We're gonna do a little bit of a warm up first. Extend your arms straight out and really reach out with those arms. First with your palms down. We're gonna do five circles. Palms up, other direction. Reverse. I'm reversing my palms and my direction at the same time. And if you'll notice, in order to stretch your arms out and do this, you're going to have to hold a tight core as well. Doesn't take many of those before you start to feel warm. Next warm up, bringing your fingertips together. Shoulders and elbows in line. Stretch out and back. Again, keeping your core tight and reaching with those arms. Doing 10 to 15 reps here. Shake your arms a little bit. Come up, make a W shape. Now make sure you roll your shoulders back first. Make that W shape. Fingers pointing towards the ceiling. Your elbows and shoulders are in line. And we're going to bring our hands together. Out. Hands down. Hands up. Ten to fifteen reps here. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as you come out like this. shake everything out. Just do some swings to loosen everything up a little bit. Now that we're nice and warm, we'll get into the exercise. This part of the exercise will be standing. You can do this with dumbbells or without. It's perfectly adequate in both ways. Take a stance that's kind of like a stance you would do for a lunge. So one foot forward, one foot back, shoulder distance in between them. This is going to help engage your core and stabilize your body. So first arm up, elbow and shoulder in line.
bring that down. Switch feet, switch hands. You can also do this exercise seated if you prefer. Standing, it gives you a little more of a core workout. Nice and slow. Doing 10 to 12 reps here. Shake that out, bring it down. We're going to have our palms facing backwards, the back of our hands facing out with our dumbbells. A nice even shoulder to shoulder stand here and just raise until your wrists and your shoulders are in line. Again, if the dumbbells are too much, put them down and just do it with clenched fists. Ten to twelve reps. Shake everything out a little bit. We're going to reset. Same foot position here. Knees nice and soft. And this time we're going to do a side lift. Squeezing your shoulder blades together in the back. Roll your shoulders back. And lift. And control the down motion also. Again, if it feels too heavy, put down your weights and do it with just your hands. We're going to grab our chair and come over for the seated part of our workout. Again, you're going to take your forearm, put it on this leg, not on your knee on the leg somewhere. Lean a little bit forward, bend your elbow, and straighten it out. And bring back around. This time we're going to do the same bent position, but we're going to do a row. Now we're working more of our shoulder and mid back. Other side. <laughs> oh, 
we're going to come off the edge of our chair just a little bit. Make sure your chair is very sturdy for this one and you can actually reach back a little bit so that your hands are mid-chair. Slide off just a little bit. And we're going to do 10 dips here. If this bothers your shoulders, don't do it. This puts a little more of your body weight in the mix. We're going to move from here onto the floor. First exercise will be a floor press. Bent knees. You're going to come down on your back, roll your shoulder blades under, have a nice grip on your dumbbells, flatten your back against the floor. You don't want an arch. We want a nice flat back. And you're going to raise and lower right over the center of your chest. Ten to twelve reps here. We're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to start here, dumbbell heads together, bring it down to our chest and up. This is really using those triceps. Ten to twelve reps here. Put those dumbbells down. We're going to shift over into a push up position. Push ups are very good for shoulders as long as you don't have shoulder issues to start with. Any of these variations can be done against the wall as well. We're going to show them on the floor right now. So make sure that when you position yourselves, your wrists are stacked over your shoulders. Walk your knees back. I'm going to do the knee push-up variation. So adjust your hands as you need to. You're going to come down and up. Start out with five. Rest your arms for a second and come back for a second five. Push back, give your shoulders a nice stretch. And we're going to do 10 to 12 repetitions with our push up. And that will conclude our bat wing tricep arm workout. I hope you enjoyed today's program. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. That allows me to bring you more content like this, which you, my listeners, have asked for. And speaking of that, drop your comments in the comments section below if you'd like to see me do something specific in the future. And most importantly, see you next time.